Hey guys, um, it's Great Britain European, uh, round two, they have $31, and this is what I bought. I bought eight infantry and an artillery, and then I fixed the three damage on the factory, so that's a total of 31 And uh, as Great Britain, there's not a whole lot we can do, and um, the reason why is because Operation Sea Line's coming, so we have to prepare as fast as possible, and uh, unfortunately these three submarines are here, and they'll stop me from bringing this uh, destroyer and transport over. So this transport will have to drop off in Scotland and uh, take those units over there. So unfortunately, that's all we can do with that. Um, we can do some stuff down here. We can move some units up here. Um, I think the best option, to be honest, is, um, well, uh, this is you kind of have to make a, a choice you either have to take this transport with a couple units and go one two and take over Greece or uh, uh, Go one two and get rid of Kenya once and for all um, The problem with bringing those units here into Greece is you'll probably lose your transport um, So you won't be able to do anything uh, the other re the other problem uh, with that is the fact that you have two tanks that you'll have to deal with. However, you have plenty of air support. But I want to try to get that air support back up to Great Britain. However, I don't think any of it can reach. So it's probably better if we just leave it in Africa. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's there's no way. The fighters are the closest, and it couldn't it couldn't reach even if it if, even if it wanted to. So keep all of our air power down here in Africa. Hopefully, we can hold out for a couple turns. You know. Uh, do some stuff like that. So the question is, is do we get rid of these units here uh, uh, once and for all? That way Italy doesn't even get a chance to take over any part of Africa and gain some money? Or do we go in for into Greece where they cannot get troops over? Uh, they would have to come in and protect Albania and Bulgaria and we would still be there in Greece and we gain a couple dollars that way. Uh, Greece is worth two dollars um, so it's really up to you I personally am gonna let Greece slide um, I want to keep the transport alive plus um, if they don't reinforce Greece soon I can always attack it later so you know so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this transport uh, with an infantry and a, a, a tank and we're gonna attack Kenya down here just like that, uh, along with this bomber, just to make it um, more favorable to our side. So, you know, it's on Cyprus, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, let will land in Egypt. So, that's where we want it. Um, and then, what we're going to do is um, we're going to take a mech and an artillery along with the fighter and the tactical to take out this infantry here so it's kind of overkill but we'll get rid of it have a few losses that's kind of the main idea so let me go ahead and grab the dice real quick and uh, we can go ahead and roll for this all right so great britain so over here we got our infantry nope we got our tank nope and a bomber. Nope. Oh, that's not good at all. So we got an infantry and artillery uh, as Italy. Nope, they didn't get hits either. That's good. So infantry. No. Tank. No. Bomber. No. Oh dear. Infantry and artillery. They got two hits. So infantry and tank are gone. I'm going to retreat the bomber because there's no point in wasting the bomber. Man, I can't believe that happened. That's nuts. Uh, we should definitely win this battle. So we got a, uh, we got ourselves a mech and an artillery attacking at the same level. Uh, no hits. And then the fighter. There's the hit. So Italian infantry got a hit. Wow, that's nuts. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the mech just because. Um, so we took over. Anglo Egypt Sudan with an artillery and then the fighter and tactical will come back. 
Um, and then I guess it's in it's on to our non-combative moves. Um, uh, transport will stay there. These two infantry will come in here uh, to deal with that infantry and artillery. Uh, we've massed here. Uh, the only other non combative move is we're going to take an infantry and a tank. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3 here in a season 119 and land them in Scotland. So. I think that's about all we can do is uh, Great Britain, Europe. So now we just hold on and pray that we can withstand uh, the German Operation Sea Lion. So uh, let's go ahead and place our units. So we're going to place eight infantry and an artillery in London. And we'll see if they can deal with that. All right, that's the end of Great Britain's turn. Um, there's one thing I want to talk about is, so if Germany wasn't going Operation Sea Lion and they were going strictly towards Russia, um, I'd definitely still bring these units from Canada over because they can still help. But I wouldn't buy solid infantry. I'd buy uh, three tanks for sure to come down here into uh, Union South Africa. And I'd probably build a factory here in Egypt as well just so we can mess with the uh, Italians. Um, I'd leave the Germans alone for a little while. But... Uh, that's basically what I do. And then I put some more infantry down on London because you can never be too safe. So, all right, I think that's it. So I will see you guys in, well, we got to, uh, we got to collect money. So, uh, they're going to, uh, looks like, well, I don't know. Hold up a second. I'm going to have to. Look it up. I don't remember how much money Great Britain starts out with. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, they start out with $28. Start out with $28. And uh, they've lost a dollar. So that'll put them at $27. And they don't get their national objectives, so looks like it twenty seven dollars is what's going to happen twenty seven dollars all right I will see you guys in the next video